What is going on YouTube? Going to be part two here of the monster truck dual build and wanted to give you guys just kind of an update on what I got done tonight. Um, so kind of a extra part here for you. So uh, first thing I went ahead and got done was I went ahead and got the uh, front radiator and uh, uh, fan shroud put into place and got that all glued into place for that. I am going to go ahead and actually plumb this thing as if it would have had a functional radiator, um, which kind of made it interesting because of the pulley setup, but we'll get that all situated here. The next thing I went ahead and did was work on the actual radiator uh, fan blade. Let me get that to lock in. There we go. Um, the back side of it was completely flat, so took a sanding stick and lightly profiled the blades so as you can see, they're actually profiled. Doesn't make that big of a difference, but when you look at the front of it, um, it, it actually makes it look more three-dimensional, where you know the fan blades are actually, you know, angled as they should be. The uh, next part that I went ahead and got done, which took most of the night to do, is I cut out the entire uh, front part here. So this was all filled in, as most model kits are. Um, and went ahead, used uh, some micro drill bits. I picked up a set off of eBay, um, used a couple of those just to get a couple of holes drilled, and then used a mixture of a, uh, used that in this drill here. Then I used a diamond burring tool. Uh, started using that, didn't really like how it was working. It, it was kind of etching in a little bit too much. So I went back to the old trusty Exacto hobby knife. Um, just carefully cutting them out. Once I got it to a rough configuration, I went ahead and done an angle cut across all of the back to make it to where it, it didn't look as strange um, as even it kind of does now. I'm still going to do a tiny bit of work looking here. I can kind of see a few areas I want to touch up. Um, and then used some jeweler files, so uh, metal jeweler files, just to kind of fi uh, finish up the profile as um you know they're they're fairly tiny like um you know really pretty tiny this would be a number 11 exacto knife blade you can kind of you know get an idea of how small they are so you can get into all of the nooks and crannies and you don't have to worry about them blunting out or anything like that because they're made to you know etch it metal so um, but got that all situated out and then basically just done a test fit of the body to the chassis, making sure that there was going to be no interference uh, on this, as well as I wanted to go ahead and get the hood off and kind of in the ballpark that way I knew kind of what I was looking at. Now, instead of leaving this uh, front grille completely open, um, I worked on a Lamborghini build that had... Um, what amounted to, um, uh, like the fabric tool, uh, I don't ask me to spell it at the moment, but, um, it uses that material to create a grill mesh and I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. So what I'm going to do on the backside here is this is going to get coat of all black, um, inside of the engine bay. And then I'm going to go in and detail uh, using a steel color or possibly aluminum, some metal color. I'm not 100% sure what color I want to go with yet uh, for the radiator. Do that on both sides. And what that will allow it to do is for you to actually uh, see through basically the grill here. Uh, grab that off the floor. See through to the actual radiator, but as most vehicles would have, you know, some sort of mesh protection uh, to keep like rocks and debris from getting into it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the back. It, like I said, working with it um, with the Lamborghini build that I had done, it really makes a big difference and really just looks amazing um, once it's all put in and together. So Quite a bit of progress done here tonight. Um, I don't think I'm going to cut out all of the grills of vehicles that I work on. Most of the time I'll probably just you know, paint the subsections black. But in, as I said, this one I'm wanting to kind of detail up a little bit more than I normally would. Just to give it a little bit extra of a of a look. Um, you know, of a uh, finished actual build look. And so... 
I also was not uh, too concerned with the chrome because what I'm going to do is looking at the box art, I like the way this looks, where it has like a gunmetal um, etching of the actual uh, centerpieces. So I'm going to go ahead and use gunmetal most likely to repaint in uh, this this section right through here. So uh, if I did, you know, if I knocked off some of the chrome or whatever, it, it also made it to where I didn't have to worry about that. But in either case, hope you guys like how the build's coming along so far. And uh, we'll get some more updates here before long. Uh, probably it'll be next week, um, next uh, Monday. I'm wanting to try to work on the Galaxy, get that finished on off. And then it will be pushing full steam ahead on, or full speed ahead, I should say, on this build. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Have a wonderful rest of your night and your weekend. And I will catch you guys next week.